I'm Brett Hendricks with Hendrix Drums. I'm going to show you around um, uh, our new stave, solid stave drum kits. We're distributing them through Big Bang Distribution. Uh, this is a, a full Boobinga kit in our black fade satin finish. And I just want to run over some of the features of the kit with you. We'll start on the snare drum so you can check it out. All right. So what we do differently than, than you would find on other stave drums is if you look at the inside of the shell here, you can see we have a, a, re, a built in reinforcement ring. This is actually part of the wood itself. It's not glued in, it is part of the shell. So it's about a half inch thick at the edges. And then we mill all of our drums down to a quarter inch thick in the body of the shell. So what that does is because it's so thin, it makes the tuning range much wider and it lets the drums resonate a lot more. And uh, another thing to go along that line of, of resonance and the drums being open is all of our lugs are solid aluminum. Most lugs are made of steel. We do them out of aluminum because it's lightweight and you don't want to weigh the drum down. You want to keep it as light as possible for the resonance. Same thing with the hoops. We use S hoops on all of our drums. S hoops are kind of the best of both worlds between die cast and flanged. They bend this flange inward. It makes a really rigid hoop like a die cast so you get a real nice cross stick and a pop. But you also, it stays open like a flange tube. It's not heavy like a die cast tube is. Flip the drum over. We've got the dual adjustable wires from Fat Cat. Get them nice and tight where you want them. Then you come back and you turn this screw a little bit and you loosen off the center wires. So you get a loose center wires for the sensitivity and you get a tight outer wire for the nice pop and crack. And also on all of our drums is the Hendrix Drums product. We call it sleeved washers. It's a nylon washer with a little sleeve that goes around the tension rod and into the hole on the hoop. What that does, you get really smooth tuning. There's no metal on metal contact. Helps the drums stay in tune because those vibrations that normally go to the tension rod uh, are absorbed some, to some degree by the nylon, so they stay in tune a lot better. And then also we use what's called tight screw tension rods. There's a little nylon insert on each one of these tension rods, so when you tune them up for the first time, the threading bites into that nylon, and these will never fall out of tune while you're playing. I don't care how many rim shots you do, this thing's gonna stay in tune the whole time. And we basically just take most of those features all across the drum kit. Uh, they're stave constructed, if you're familiar with that. It's basically, if you can imagine what a wine barrel looks like, we've got vertical slats of wood that we glue together and then turn them around, and that's how we get the drum shells. So there's very little glue. You can bear this spike my snare to a 10 ply snare. Ours has 95% less glue, so you get a real warm, woody tone. I'll hit them real quick for you. So that gives you a good idea what they sound like. Yeah, I appreciate you guys taking the time to listen. Thanks. Hendrix Drums.